The thing that you thought was moisture really isn't moisture. You really don't need moisture or any product or anything. What you need to do is change your routine. Get a pen and paper out because by the end of this video, not only will I kill this myth, but I'm going to give you the scientific proof so you can prove it to yourself. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up. So your crown doesn't fall. Remember your royalty. What is moisture? Moisture is classified as water or other liquids diffused in small quantities such as vapor, a solid, or a condensed surface, all right? This is what moisture is. Let's break this definition down because at the end of the day, this is not a definition that I made up. We love to throw the word moisture around, so let's break this definition down. Part one. Water or other liquids diffused in small quantities. On social media, one of the main things, if anybody says like, oh, you need moisture, you need moisture, the first place that your mind goes is to water. It tells you water or other liquids diffused in vapor forms and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, that is safe to say that water is not the only thing that is going to lend moisture to any type of surface, whether it is a porous surface or a non-porous surface. Before we keep going, let's break down one word here in particular, diffused. What is the definition of diffused or what does it mean to diffuse? How do you diffuse? Water or other liquids diffuse. And what does diffuse mean? Diffuse means to spread a liquid, <laughs> to spread a liquid formation or something across a surface, to spread it across the surface that is the definition of diffuse and the definition of moisture is water or another liquid diffused across a surface the number one conversation or debate or blog post title is black women's hair what it needs most than anything is moisture the main reason that so many people are so confused is because the people who are in 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 control and the people who hold the place to to teach you guys everything they don't know what the hell they're talking about either because moisture is not obtained by products moisture is not obtained by water in a bottle moisture is obtained by knowing the natural hair growth cycle and having a healthy skin cell turnover cycle when you have a healthy skin cell turnover cycle, your skin cell turnover cycle happens every 28 days. Every 28 days, that top layer of dead skin falls off the scalp to make room for the new hair that is coming up through the follicle throughout that 28-day that period. If the follicle is constantly blocked with heavy butters and heavy oils, if the hair is not properly washed because you're doing co-washes and stuff, the follicle is blocked. And if the follicle is blocked, the sebaceous gland is blocked. The sebaceous gland is the gland within the hair's follicle that produces sebum. Sebum is the natural oil that is to be diffused from the roots to the ends to help you maintain and retain length and healthy hair. It's as simple as that. The body naturally produces an oil that is to be diffused from the roots to the ends. So now we have to ask ourselves, why is black hair the driest? Why is black hair lacking so much moisture? The definition of diffuse or to diffuse something is to spread it across a surface or to spread it across the room in small amounts, not layering it, not layering the hair with product with the lock method and using all of these products or constantly wetting the hair. The body naturally produces its own oil. By you keeping your hair stretched in different ways, right, what you end up doing is helping that sebum that is coming out of the follicle diffuse itself from your roots to your ends. This is how the hair shaft obtains moisture. Moisture 
is not 100% secluded to water. Remember, we love to say things like, oh, we're plants, we plant. You cannot just water a plant. You, The fastest way to kill one of your plants is to water it too much. The fastest way to kill one of your plants is to put water on it every day. So if you want to go around and say you're like a plant being stop watering your hair every day if you were to get like this wall right here right if i was to walk up to this wall every single day every time it gets dry every time it looks a little dry and and spray it with water and make sure that this wall is always wet eventually this wall will begin to rot the paint will begin to chip and the surface will become more and more porous until at at one point everything is so porous that holes start to appear that's the same exact thing that is happening to your hair when you're constantly keeping it wet. Moisture is not secluded to just water. And Webster's definition along with every other definition in the world, Craig, not just the city, the world, will tell you that the definition of moisture is not water with a spray bottle. The definition of moisture is water or any other liquid diffused throughout a surface, whether this this is a porous or condensed surface. No, I didn't mean to say porous. I want y'all to remember this. It says a solid or condensed surface. So for us to properly moisturize something and make sure that it's moisturized, those pores and the windows have to be closed. Because if the pores are open, if everything is open, then that means that, yeah, it's going inside. Yeah, there may be moisture going inside depending on what type of oil or butter you're using if it's not too heavy. But for the most part, all you're doing is blocking the inside of the cortex the moisture is supposed to go on a condensed surface okay a condensed or solid surface now when when your cuticle is open it's porous and the word porous means a oh, basically something that's open right your pores is open it can absorb stuff and the cuticle is closed so when we're moisturizing right you can give yourself a moisturizing conditioning treatment for example like Olaplex 8 is a deep conditioning moisture mask right but you're using this while the cuticle cuticle is open so it can go within the cortex because it has that molecule from Olaplex in it right directly so it's instantly gonna go in there and repair anything that needs to be repaired water is great inside of the body absolutely like we are 70 percent water so yes we need to be drinking water on a regular basis drinking water on a regular basis but on a external level it will cause your skin to rot your hair to rot the walls to rot the floorboards to rot water does not belong water is not what's actually going to moisturize your hair okay water can cause rot to the hair shaft just like water to being applied too much to the roots of a plant will cause the roots to rot all right water is extremely powerful and no matter how much you want to change the properties of water you can't all right, water and all of those amazing properties go towards the inside of the hair shaft. But when we're talking about moisture and moisturizing the hair, that is done on the surface level of the hair shaft through a diffusing process, right? And this infusion is from the sebum that is coming directly from the scalp and you're diffusing it down the hair shaft. How do you diffuse? With scientific brushing. Scientific brushing is the easiest way to diffuse use your hair with the natural oils and the natural lipids that are coming out of the follicle all right but for the most part most black women have really dry hair because most black women believe that combs and brushes are the devil women don't really feel like combing their hair on a regular basis so yes your hair is dry yes your hair is lacking moisture because your follicles are clogged with products that block the follicle so the natural sebum that is supposed to be diffused on the hair shaft given the hair moisture can't make it 
okay god did not make black women differently from other races of women he did not she did not the difference is the way that each woman or the way that each group of people decides to do maintenance on their hair it is just as simple as that the changes that you can make cost you little to no money we spend way way more money trying to avoid the science of hair than we actually will just following the science of the human body I'm going to give you a couple of actionable steps, right, to moisturize your hair or to get yourself out of the thing that is causing your hair to lack moisture. Moisture is not something that's just randomly going to come out of the sky. Moisture isn't coming out of the sky. Where moisture is coming from is through the sebaceous gland. And it has to be diffused from roots to ends by you. God is the creator. You are the co-creator. You have to do maintenance on your hair and on your scalp on your body the same way that you gotta do maintenance on your car like why y'all doing maintenance on your cars but not doing maintenance on your hair number one you need to find out what your porosity is if you need help finding your porosity then make sure you head over to my website and it is so free 99 you literally just click this button and whatever device you're on your porosity test comes straight to your phone find out what your porosity is because that's number one you have to learn your science learning your own personal science is number one detox your scalp and your hair shaft you cannot put new wine in old bottles you need to first dig up all of the old things that you used to do to make room for the new because boo you got a dusty scalp and a dusty hair shaft if you did apple cider vinegar rice water nipples pickle juice you know all of that stuff you yo yo your cuticle your follicle is ashy so you gotta do a detox number three repair broken ends and holes within the hair shaft now that was a trick statement because there is really no repairing all you can do is put band-aids on it now I'm gonna be honest with you there are a lot of products out there that market themselves to you as a repair for split ends but I don't care what anyone says you do not repair a split end just like once a nail breaks it doesn't matter how much once a nail breaks yeah you can go get some glue you can get some gel but even as your nail grows out that piece will never mash back together it'll eventually fall off and you won't really care because you have a whole new nail but they never come back together your nails and your hair shaft are made of the same protein it's the same thing all right so anybody that or any product that is being marketed towards you as a cure for split ends or something that will permanently fix your split ends it is a a temporary binder for the ends it is a band-aid for your ends but there is no fixing split ends and the same thing goes for holes within the hair shaft within guru VIP we went over a bunch of different hair shaft disorders and we're still going over more hair shaft disorders but here are a few of them on the screen here on the screen you can clearly see that there are so many different hair shaft disorders that lead to different holes and nicks and stuff within the hair Hair shaft. If these things are there, your hair shaft just simply will not be the same. Just like if you hit your toe on something and your your body, your toe sends a signal to your brain like, oh girl, this shit hurt. The same exact thing is happening to your hair follicle when you have splits in the ends and holes in the hair shaft. Your your hair shaft sends messages to the follicle, and that's what leads a lot of people into different forms of alopecia and telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium is induced by stress either within the body within the mind or within the hair shaft and that is one of the quickest ways to stress the hair shaft tight braids not shampooing the scalp so it's funky and dirty and stuff that stanky shit be stretched and off the cuticle next you need to set a routine for yourself so you shampooing your hair and your wash day taking you 10 11 hours you are doing something wrong and you need to change everything about your routine if it takes you any longer than three hours all right and three hours should be how long it's taking if you got hair that reached to the moon but if you've got that much hair it you shouldn't if you got that that much hair you shouldn't be in there for that long next 
I need you to have a styling schedule. Once you have a styling schedule, by that I mean like what are you doing to your hair? Don't shampoo your hair and then once your hair is shampooed and the conditioner is rinsed out, then you figure out what you're going to do. No. Go ahead and get you a journal where you can fill in your plans throughout for the whole month actually. That will make it so easy for you because you'll be being so intentional and it'll be so easy for you to distinguish what routine you want to have and when week by week so that way you are not running into different things that ruin your progress because you're so irritated with your hair and you don't know what to do. Next, I need you to have a treatment schedule. A treatment schedule is only going to be known when you know yourself, when you know your own science. I highly recommend these ebooks right here. And this ebook here, a fillable ebook that gives you a full printout of exactly what you need to do. This will be your own personal client record card for yourself. I love this so much. It's one of my new top sellers because so many women are purchasing this and then putting their own science in it so whenever they go to a new stylist they can just whip out their phone and say hey I'm low porosity I'm this I'm that and then they can have a consultation with their stylist it's such a great tool to have because it makes all the guesswork easy and it's really easy for you to see if whether or not a hair stylist is for you in the first place you know if you pull out something and you're like hey this is my porosity this is this this is my density can we pick a shampoo or conditioner based on my porosity if they got an attitude girl she probably ain't for you because she only mad because she don't know what the hell you talking about next up you need to have a maintenance schedule this is the schedule that we are going to use to to determine when you are supposed to get a trim okay um trims are not meant to take away length the only way that you're losing length with your trims is if you get no once a year you know what I'm saying when you get a trim you're not actually getting your hair cut if you are going to a good stylist when you get a trim she's she or he is just making sure that the ends never split throughout my 15 career 15 year career there were so many people that would come in and it was time for them to get a trim and once I went through their whole head they barely got a trim because none of the ends were split none of the ends were beginning to split you know but the maintenance appointment was still so good to have make sure you keep up with your maintenance I need you to stick to whatever routine you set for yourself whenever you fill out this whole journal and whenever you whenever you fill out your journal and you have all of these things mastered then you cannot stray away from them all right one of the main reasons that a lot of the women that everybody compares their hair too I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say no people but they have a steady pattern and a routine they're not doing 50 million things to their hair for the most part the women that you buy bundles from they wear their hair the same way every day the part on the same side everything's the same all day why because they have a uh, they have a pattern and a routine that works I'm not saying don't style your hair in a bunch of different ways but make that something that's a luxury not something that's a necessity that you do on a everyday basis if you need help with any of these make sure you check all of my ebooks out I have ebooks for everything that we've talked about today I have an ebook that breaks down amino acids exactly what amino acids the body uses to build your hair skin and nails what you can eat <laughs> to put these amino acids into the body easily and so many other things you guys I I have made sure that I've made this as easy as possible for you guys. So, 